Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Our primary goal with this tutorial is to work on drill data. Uh, the main purpose is, is to help you whenever you come across a situation where you load in a set of Gerber files, they look perfect, and then when you want to view your, your drill data, it's either off on the top corner or it's uh, somewhere else, it's not aligned, uh, and it just doesn't look right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is first load in this sample board here where the data will not load correctly as far as the drill. Uh, let me just go ahead and click next and then click next. Okay, so you get a situation like this where you zoom in, Gerber file looks great, everything's good to go there. However, up here in the corner I've got either huge holes or they're not aligned or they just don't make sense. And so, you know, panic sets in like, what's wrong with this tool? Why, why is my Gerber files not, I mean my drill files not being loaded in correctly? And the situation actually comes down to just understanding drill data and uh, what needs to be done to import it. Now, a lot of CAM tools uh, will try to estimate or guess what format and structure uh, your drill data is in. So let me quickly just show you what a drill file is. So I'll just right click here and select open. Okay. As you see here, there's really no magic to a drill file. Basically what happens is it's saying right here is tool number one. And right here is saying it has a diameter of 0.3. And the other stuff is feed and, and other things that aren't relevant. And then all you guys XY coordinates for each drill location hit. So when you look at this, I mean, it's just a text file. What more does a, a CAM software tool or anyone else have to really go off trying to, as far as trying to determine exactly what's in this, uh, this drill data? Gerber itself has a lot more information because it has a header in there where typically uh, it'll tell you the specific units, uh, leading zeros, trailing zeros, everything else of that nature. So what I'm going to do here is show how to import this in. All right, and it also does take a little experience sometimes. Uh, so I'll close this out. And the first thing I notice is if this tool, the whole sizes are just way off, like they look too big, that tells me that it's most likely a unit uh, situation where perhaps it's, the drills are being loaded in as inches when they're actually metric. And there's nothing in the actual file itself to say that it's metric. Uh, there are times where the drill data can have the metric information uh, but if it's not spe specified, then the, the CAM tool has to guess. So what I'll do in this case is I'll go ahead and close this out. We'll just start from scratch. I'm going to select auto load just because I'm familiar with that. What you can do here is you can select metric, go to the format settings, and in here is what you can, in a sense, tell FAT3000 what, how to try to load these Gerber or drill files in first. Now, FAT3000 will try to make adjustments for you automatically but it kind of gives you a starting point. We'll click on the drill, and typically with metric, uh, it's a matter of just say, for instance, uh, because I noticed that the, the drill data was up in the right corner, if I increase the integer, integer digits, typically this should uh, help out that situation. But again, it's a matter of just playing and adjusting some of these settings in order to get it to load in correctly. My recommendation is usually leaving the type as absolute and zero suppression is trailing is good in about 80% of the cases. If you start seeing holes zigzagged everywhere with no, without making any sense, then I might modify these two. So all I would worry about is just these two different uh, variables and getting it to match. So in this case, I'll select both of those, press OK, click Next, and there you have it. Now the drill files have been properly loaded in. So there's nothing again as far as uh, any science or magic as far as wondering why the tool didn't load the drill file incorrectly. It just wasn't given the proper instructions on how to interpret those XY coordinates as you saw in the previous text message. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please visit our website, numericalinnovations.com.